Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's Appel Oz here today and today I have just received in the mail is a big box full of uh, boxed warriors. Do not handle with care it says. Now these are brand new like they haven't even hit the stores yet as far as I know I'm the first one to do a like a review on it um, but what we'll do is we'll open this box we'll see what's inside and then I think they're pretty involved like opening them like like what's inside so I aim to open at least two of the box warriors toys but if it's pretty fast we'll, we'll just keep going because I don't like the, my videos to be more than 10 minutes so we'll try to fill 10 minutes and open as much as we can during that time now uh, first up we'll open it up and you can see oh it looks like there's another box inside let's scroll down not scroll down <laughs> let's rip it open tear it down now this looks really cool okay 13 warriors to collect now I might lower this a bit there we are so we can see properly what's in here now we'll get rid of the outer box Okay, oh, not much space. There we are. Okay, now this is looking pretty awesome. So let's see what it tells us. So there's 13 warriors to collect. There's Shogun Warrior, Bob Space Force Trooper, uh, Wrestling Rick, uh, <laughs> spelled strangely, uh, Golden Sir Bachelot, which is a limited edition guy. And then what else we got there? If we rub and reveal to see the Warrior's Secret Alliance, cool. And then also we can go in search of metallic and holograph hologram weapons now where's the front of this here we go so this is how it's meant to be now this it looks like we got 12 to open up so um we'll grab one and see what they look like so when you when you see them in the shops they'll be in a display box like this one now we'll get two and make some space so just move this over to the side and uh, the reason I have these is all thanks to the amazing people at Head Start Toys. And Head Start Toys, if you don't know much about them, they're the same company who created uh, Micro Wheels over there, as well as Ushis, and now Box Warriors as well. They got a few other ones, but I've only got Micro Wheels and Ushis with me at the moment. Now let's get rid of this big giant box and uh, get everything set up so we can check out these Box Warriors one at a time. There, that's way better. Now we can see what we're looking at. Now let's check out the box before we open it up. So uh, we've seen that picture before. And now I check these and these aren't magnets. These are probably hinges I'm guessing. Keep going. Now this mentions again all the 13 warriors we have to collect. There's some kind of rarish dudes and some normal guys. And then limited edition Golden Sir Bachelot which I've already mentioned. And hopefully we can find some holographic or metallic. Uh, guys and let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and then in following videos when I do open up you know more of these then if I get the one who you have wanted to see maybe I'll remember your name and be able to say yay Greg or Daniel or or Stephen 349 I found <laughs> I've just found the Sir Bachelot you wanted or something like that so let me know in the comments which one you guys think is the coolest now uh, spin it around that's all there is to see the top Okay, here it tells us what to do. So we tear the tab, here we go. Okay, so we tear a tab, remove a pin from the bottom of the box, okay. And then we press here, maybe? Oh, we'll find out. We'll just do what it says. Okay, looking good. Did it quite work, there we go. Okay, now remove pin. I don't see a pin, so let's just take off all the wrapping. Okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like before anything else happens. Which I don't actually know what's going to happen. Once again, I haven't done uh, research because I, I don't like ruining it by kind of like seeing what everything does before we open it. I like to kind of explore and discover it as you guys do. So I'm not too sure what's going to happen here. Now, it uh, looks like this. We've got to take this off. Okay, cool. Mission accomplished. Now there's sellotape there which... Uh, it doesn't tell us to remove the sellotape, but uh, I'm gonna be naughty and do it because it seems like having sellotape on it is not good. Okay, there we go. Now it says, let's try it to press, I think there's little arrows there, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna press there and see what happens. Okay, three, two, one, <laughs> nothing. Okay, whoa, something is happening. 
That is so cool. Okay, so as you can see, let's move him a little bit closer. We got a cool guy kind of just slowly come up out of the box. Uh, looks like there's a chest which we'll probably have some weapons in as well as a trading card now. How easy is it to get that out? Not too easy. So how do we, where do we go to from here? I think if I get in my knife, do a little cut here. Ah, another little cut there. There we go. Now we can get this out as well. And move him over here. Now it seems to be cellar taped on, so that's cool. So we got the uh, weapons. We got this cool trading card, which let's have a look. So this is Wrestling Rick. Or wrestling, Wrestling Rick. Man, he looks awesome. Now these are cool cards. And then it tells us all about his kind of details. So Wrestling Rick was the... Wrestling Rick the Wrecker insists that he is a wrapped, not boxed warrior. I ain't no boxer. <laughs> this is his battle cry. He was snatched during the world title match just as he was about to win and he is furious about this. I could have been the world champion. <laughs> he starts and stops fighting whenever he rings a bell. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now mentions, I don't know, may, don't know if that chair and hammer means anything. This seems to be his powers, so maybe you can kind of compare them. Maybe you can have like a card battle using these stats. I don't know, we'll, we'll work it out. Now we'll put him over there. Or maybe we can rest, rest it up there, there we go. And now let's get Wrestling Rick out. Now again, I think I'm going to need my knife. Okay. Ah, I could have just pulled him off, that would have been easier. There we go. Now this guy is cool. Like sometimes when there's a lot of gimmick involved, in the unwrapping of toys or the revealing of toys and sometimes not so far from head start but sometimes like the toy inside ain't so cool and it's all about like the the opening of the toy where's this toy holy moly he feels extremely solid like he's quite heavy i don't know if you can get that impression but yeah he's he's quite heavy and solid feeling like no no limbs are going to pop off with this guy uh his arms rotate around and yeah, just the detail and the quality, I'm really impressed. Since these guys haven't hit the shops yet, I don't know what they're going to cost, like what the price is going to be, but uh, if it's, I don't know, the, the quality is really good, so I'm expecting them to cost a little bit more than like the standard toy, because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Now, his hands look like he can grip some sort of toy, so let's, let's like leave him there, stay there. Okay, let's make him, there we go, that's better. Now, let's see if we got, so we want a um, holographic, I think it was, or metallic. Holographic or metallic toy. Now, how do we open this up? Okay, there's little kind of like clips. Okay, three, two, one, it is, I'd say that's metallic. So we got a metallic looking chair, does it fold open at all? No, that would be too amazing, <laughs> having a working chair. Uh, but that's cool, okay, so we've got a chair. Oh, like over there, as well as a hammer. So I'm, I'm guessing maybe uh, Wrestling Rick uh, comes with a chair and hammer every time because his card at the back had a picture of a chair and a hammer. But we have been lucky enough to get a metallic hammer and a metallic chair. So we've done really well, super, super well. Now let's put them in his hand. Now this, I'm guessing, goes like that, somehow. Okay, and I'll put him back how he's meant to be standing. There we are. So there we have Wrestling Rick. Let's lower it down. See him straight on. That's so cool. Okay, I am in love with these guys. Now, how do I... Can I get you to go back down, Wrestling Rick? Let's, let's just test it out. Let's see how it works. Whoa, he's coming back up again. That's awesome. Okay, that's cool. All right, well, we'll leave Rick over here. We'll put his card. Is there a card slot? Yep. So this looks like you can use them as a display stand too, because like they're meant to have that there. And I'll also put his little box back where we found it before. 
Oh, no, nah, his hammer's in the way. We'll put it next to it. There we go. So we've got Wrestling Rick there. Now let's open up another one. Now we know what to do this time, so it should be a little bit faster. Now I'm definitely going to go over my 10, 10 minute limit. Well, goal, I guess, not a limit, but uh, that's kind of good. I'm glad we at least got to open up two. Now we'll take that off there. I'm just going to cut that tape. I should probably peel it off. Oh, okay, now, are you ready for the grand unveiling? Now, I know what to expect this time, so I've got the camera set up properly. Now, three, two, one. Oh, wait, hold on, we haven't done something. We've got to pull this little tab out. Okay, now, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Sell the tape, go wait. Ah, okay, <laughs> good enough. Now, who is this guy? Let's check out. Wait, hold on. We gotta get it all off the stand first. Nope, that's not the order. We gotta cut it off. He looks like some sort of kind of legionnaire looking guy, which is cool. If we get that off, that's cool. And now we can pull that out. Just get rid of all that. There we are. Now stay there. And let's see what the card says. So, his name is Andreas the Spartan. Very cool. There we go. So, I can see he is uh, the only survivor of the legendary battle of Thermopylite, I think. Andreas is a fearless fighting machine who never admits defeat. His bravery and skill with the spare is second to none. He is also a gym junkie who cannot pass a mirror without stopping to take a look at himself. So that is awesome. I'd probably be the same if I looked like him. Now what's his weapons going to be? So a shield as well as a spear. So let's see if we're going to be lucky enough to get metallic or... I keep forgetting, holographic or metallic um, weapons. So again, there's two little clips. Just going to... Pop those, there we are. Now three, two, one. Ah, oh, bop bomb. We just got standard things. So at least we get to see what the standard kind of stuff looks like. So we got a normal kind of gray kind of iron looking shield. Shall I put, where can you see it? I'll put it over here. And then a spear, which is still insanely cool and it feels sturdy. Like that's not bending at all. Like that, that feels quite heavy and solid, which is cool. Anyhow. How can I kind of describe that to you all, kind of prove it to you how, how kind of solid that is, but yeah, it's not all floppy because there is like hard plastics and then soft plastics and this is definitely like the stuff which would last forever. And we'll get this last little kind of, ooh, what would you call this little thing? A, a little stabber? <laughs> Some little kind of dabbing rod? I don't know, it's not a friendly, friendly implement. Now, last thing, let's get um, Andreas out. Oh. Okay, now, he is looking awesome. So again, the, his head turns quite a lot, and he feels just as kind of solid and sturdy as, uh, what was his name, Wrestling Rick. Now he's cool, you can do some cool poses with him. As well as just like normal playing, like they move enough that you can get some good stories out of them. Now let's give him his weapons. Put the shield in his left hand. Oh no, that's his right hand. Oh well. And we'll put his spear facing down. How do we get that in? Facing down so he can do some cool poses. Now there we go. And I don't know where I can put this little thing. It doesn't really have a a stabbing stick holder, so we'll put it there. But now, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. So we got uh, Wrestling Rick, as well as Andreas the Spartan, and uh, those guys are amazing. I'm looking forward to opening up the other, what have we got? We got 10 more to open up. No, more than that. We got 14 more to open up. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on seeing all the rest of these get op opened up. Uh, like the video if you liked it, like click the thumbs up like button. But until next time, guys, have a great week. Take care of yourself, and I will catch you next time.